Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are a couple of days out, and yeah, I'm saying out, I'm no longer counting days after the Mr. Olympia, I'm already counting days to the next show, which is Romania Pro, as you can see right here, this is the official list, and this is shaping up to be a really awesome show, already only a week after the Mr. Olympia, we have a great show coming up, and as far as the top names, I highlighted them, and as you can see, Behrus Tabani is going to be competing, Nathan Diasha. Samson Dauda even, Andrea Presti, and also we have a pro debut of Marcelo De Angelis. This is Romania Pro 2021. This was only two years ago and Samson was on this stage at that time too and he didn't look anything like he looks today. He is a different bodybuilder today. And here, did he win? No, he actually didn't win. Rafael Branda won this show. Samson was second. And third was Bakarus Tabani, who is also competing this year. He won this show last year against Brad Wilkin. It was a really good battle. It was really close. But Bakarus prevailed. So he's the defending champion. And I think he made a lot of progress since last year. This is what he looked like at two weeks out of Romania Pro, so yeah, he's bringing like really good conditioning, and I think he looks overall bigger, rounder, thicker, he worked the entire offseason with Milo Sharchev, and they were actually prepping for the Mr. Olympia, so by winning at Romania Pro last year, he qualified for the Mr. Olympia, unfortunately he was unable to get the visa, so he wasn't on the Mr. Olympia stage, if he was, the way I see it, he would definitely make the top 10, maybe even higher than that. Maybe he would be like 8th or, or 9th, something like that. I don't see him beating Crizo, but maybe beating Tony Burton and Regan Grimes. I'm pretty sure he would beat Charles Griffin. So I think he's a he definitely is a top 10 bodybuilder in the world. So he's doing Romania Pro, he's defending his title. Is he going to be able to defend that? Well, now that we know that we have Samson Dauda doing this show, it's probably not going to happen. We have the third best bodybuilder in the world doing the Romania Pro. So I'm pretty sure nobody is coming close to Samson Dauda at this show, but maybe Nathan Diasha can give him a run for his money. But I don't really think anybody can really challenge Samson in this show, not even Nathan Diasha. Maybe, maybe Nathan Diasha and let's say Bekris Tabani would have a fighting chance if Samson came like completely off. Is that gonna happen? I don't think so. If there was a possibility of him coming off to this show, I don't think he would do it. He just established himself as the top three in the world. If he loses this, he loses a lot of stock. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna try hard and, and do the best that he can. So if that happens, if he's like 90%, he's winning this for sure. But Nathan Diasha... He's a dangerous bodybuilder, he shouldn't be underestimated. Anyways, the question is also, how do I know that Samson is even going to show up? Because a lot of people are saying that it doesn't even make sense that he's doing this show. Why the hell is he doing it? Because he wants the prize money? How much? I mean, $10,000? And risking, like, losing that third spot in the world? I mean, it's really not common these days for not just the top three, but more like top five, top six guys to do all these uh, random, like, smaller shows, especially post-Olympia shows. Back in the day, it was pretty normal, in the 90s. Even Mr. Olympia, even Ronnie Coleman and Dorian Yates, they were doing these post-Olympia tours, they were competing all over Europe. It was definitely way more common, but it's not happening these days. And I guess Samson is gonna try to change that, because, yeah, he's actually doing this show, he confirmed it. Let me actually show you what he said in his story. As you all probably heard the news, or seen the poster, we are not done just yet. We got Romania Pro happening this weekend. I am doing that show. People are asking, people, some people are asking me why, why am I bothering? I've already qualified for the Olympia. I've always said that I was always going to be the bodybuilder that travel around the world and promoting bodybuilding everywhere I can. By guest posing, by meet and greet seminars, competing all around the world all the time. I see the way the guys did it in the 90s and they did the European tour. And I was already planning on doing the Arnold anyway. So let's just get out there now. I was already going to do the Arnold anyway next year. So for me, I'm like, hell, you're in shape. So yeah, Samson confirmed it. He is doing Romania Pro. The reason why he's doing it is simply because he always wanted to be that kind of a bodybuilder that doesn't compete only once a year, that competes more often and promotes bodybuilding the best way he can. And I think this is also going to help him in his career, potentially next year, when they choose the next Mr. Olympia, 
Samson is gonna prove to be a great ambassador for the sport. I mean, we all know that Derek is basically perfect for the job, but I don't think he travels as much as Samson, and Samson is probably gonna try to do that as much as possible this year, so it's probably gonna work in his favor. And we also got bonus information in this update. He is also doing the Arnold Classic next year. 2024 Arnold Classic, he's gonna be doing it, he's gonna be defending his title, and I'm showing you this photo right here because this is a comparison that Milos Archer actually posted on his on his feed, and Milos is claiming that Samson was better at a Mr. Olympia this year than he was last year at the Arnold Classic, and it was confirmed to him by Tyler Mannion, but you guys go ahead and tell me, what do you think? Well, I would say Samson was improved in terms of muscularity. I think his lats were popping more, they were bigger, arms also looked bigger, biceps and triceps both, and shoulders also were bigger and rounder, legs were also bigger, so he was definitely improved muscularity wise, but he didn't have the same conditioning, he was definitely a lot more detailed throughout the entire physique, and especially legs, because at the Arnold class he had crazy leg details, and Mr. Olympia, you know, they weren't that, that conditioned, that detailed, and also Samson's glutes were sharper than the Arnold, so he was overall more conditioned than the Arnold, but he was bigger than Mr. Olympia, so hopefully next year he will bring the right combination, even more improved and with better conditioning, so we'll see what's gonna happen, I have a feeling he's gonna become the Mr. Olympia one day, anyways, who knows, maybe Hyde at Japan or Derek Lansford uh, do the Arnold Classic as well, Maybe Nick Walker jumps in again because he didn't compete at the Mr. Olympia. We're gonna talk about Nick in a second, but not before we are finished with Romania Pro. So, Samson is the heavy favorite, and he's probably going to win. But there are other guys who are also gonna be great. It's gonna be really interesting to see what Nathan Diasha is gonna bring, and is he gonna be able to push Samson? Because Nathan knows how to bring, you know, size, fullness, roundness and conditioning, and he's gonna have definitely way more shredded glutes, for example, so it's gonna be interesting, but yeah, I'm still pretty sure Samson's gonna take that easy win. And it's also gonna be really interesting to see the pro debut of uh, Marcelo De Angelis, Horse MD, Brazilian bodybuilder, very popular on social media. Last year he tried to make the weight for classic physique, but he failed, he couldn't even do it. And so he worked, you know, on adding muscle to actually compete in the Open. He's coached with Milos Archev as well. So I think he grew a lot. I think he's going to be completely different than he was ever before on stage. And it seems like he brought conditioning to a really good level. So I'm really curious to see what he's going to do. I don't think he's going to be, you know, at the top. I don't see him in my top three. I think it's going to be Samson, Nathan, and Bekrus Tabani in that top three, and then if Marcelo can beat Andrea Presti and a whole bunch of other bodybuilders who I don't really know much about, if he can do that, if he can beat them all, maybe he can be fourth, but it's gonna be really tough, anyways, it doesn't really matter, this is his pro debut, so it's all about, you know, testing himself, seeing where he is against the top pros, and enjoying this pro debut of his. Like I said earlier, maybe we're gonna get to see Nick Walker at that Arnold Classic this year, and it really makes a lot of sense, you're probably gonna see him up there, unless he gets a special invite from the Mr. Olympia, he's gonna, I mean, he's gonna have to qualify by winning some of the shows, and which show is on his level, well, he already won the Arnold Classic, and the way he looked this year before the Mr. Olympia, he would probably beat uh, Samson Dauda, who beat him this year at the Arnold Classic, but then again, he did say before that his focus is not Arnold Classic, he doesn't really care about winning it multiple times, maybe he would return and try to win more, but after he wins the Mr. Olympia, however, now he needs to qualify by winning a show. Maybe, you know, Arnold is not the best timing for him, maybe he's gonna do a show that is later in the year, but maybe he's gonna do the Arnold, I don't know yet. Anyways, we got a physique update of him right now, so he's already back in the gym training, he's out of that wheelchair, so thankfully he's able to walk, he's able to stand, and he's able to train his upper body, at least. So here he talks about what he did, what kind of training he did, and it seems like he's doing well already. And here, he does look really good. I mean, I would expect him to deflate more, because he probably didn't train for like two weeks, and he wasn't able to do anything, I don't know if he ate enough, or or used gear and stuff like that, I'm sure he was really depressed, he probably still is, I mean, I would be if I missed the Mr. Olympia and I was in the best shape of my life, there isn't much he can do, and feeling sorry for himself won't help, but I'm sure it didn't feel good, I'm sure it felt horrible.
But I don't know, it seems like he bounced back because he just posted this and this is actually a couple of weeks before the Mr. Olympia but the caption here is interesting. He says, a couple shots leading into the Mr. Olympia being a few weeks out and he says, you thought you seen me focused before. You thought I was bringing the best mutant before a whole new mutant is about to be born. Which means he is coming strong. He is gonna. He is probably very motivated right now. He's probably pissed. He's probably angry at what happened. So he's probably gonna utilize that anger and focus it on really doing bodybuilding hardcore, improving even more, and just really, really trying super hard and just being super focused. And I'm sure the next time we see him on stage, we're gonna be mind blown. But that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up for more videos like this, guys. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.